Steroids continue to make headlines no matter what the sport or season. CBS News correspondent Kelly Cobier is here with an exclusive early eye investigation into the designer steroid named Tren. Kelly, good morning. Harry, good morning. If you have a son or daughter who plays sports or just wants to look good, you'll really want to listen up. We found that hardcore anabolic steroids may be within their reach, sold at the neighborhood nutritional supplement store or with the click of a mouse. How many of you guys think steroids are a problem? Last March, we reported about Tren, a dietary supplement these Louisiana high school football players and their coach told us was the next best thing to a steroid. We bought Tren over the internet and in a health store that sells supplements. So it acts like a steroid. Well, that's what it is. That's what it is, but it's a safer one. Then we sent three brands to be tested by renowned steroid expert Dr. Don Catlin. Instead of being harmless dietary supplements, his tests revealed Tren is an illegal anabolic steroid. These drugs can cause you to die, frankly. They're not crack cocaine, they're not heroin, but they go to the liver and they go to the kidney and they destroy the liver and the kidney, they destroy the cells. Our reports about the dangers of Tren were criticized in the online muscle building community, where Tren is widely used and extremely popular. But they predicted the next chapter of our story. 22-year-old Stephen Kalajaropoulos says he began using Tren last December. I was just trying to get a little bit of an edge, gain a little bit of weight, and that's it. After about two weeks, he experienced mood swings and his nipples started to change. Extremely sensitive, hurts, you know, not a fun thing to have. Stephen is not alone. His friends, all 22 years old, say they also developed enlarged breasts and nipples so sensitive they have to wrap them in ace bandages just to play soccer. When it's hotter and stuff, you can notice it a little better. You can see on the side right here, definitely. My nipples started to, started to flame, basically, and they started to get really sensitive. Uh, and that's when I went and saw my doctor. Their condition, called gynecomastia, is an enlargement of the male breast. Brett Preston and his friends are part of a class action lawsuit against American Cellular Labs, maker of the Tren Extreme they say caused pain so severe, the only way to relieve it is surgery. All that is not muscle, that's all breast tissue. And then you can see the scars from where I had my last surgery. And then they have to go in here and take out all, all the tissue that's left from behind it on both sides. Brett and his friends say they bought Tren at a supplement store chain we caught on our hidden camera. Some of these re retail stores sell it to, you know, selling it to kids and stuff, you know, 18, 19, 20 year old kids who really shouldn't be taking it, you know what I mean? Have you seen patients uh, who have bad effects from dietary supplements? Absolutely. In the New England Journal of Medicine this month, Harvard Medical School instructor Dr. Peter Cohen compares using supplements like Tren to playing Russian roulette. This is not even a medication or anything that's been prescribed ever by physicians, legally, anywhere in the world. And you're giving this novel chemical clandestinely to thousands, maybe millions of people. The Food and Drug Administration is finally beginning to crack down. In highly publicized raids in July and September, agents seized dozens of designer steroids masquerading as legal supplements, including the brand taken by Brett and his friends, American Cellular Labs Tren Extreme. How much more money is it going to cost until somebody, you know, takes us off the market, does something about it, or people just start opening their eyes, you know? Last week in this supplement store, we had no problem finding four more brands that this salesman claims have Tren. Uh, I have Equitren, I have um, Stackable, I have Black Mass, which is down there, and then Tren Stack. Okay, and all of those have Tren in it? The soccer players we met said they had at least 15 friends with the same side effect from taking Tren. Now, we tried to reach the makers of the three brands we tested. The only company that listed a working number had no comment. The brand used by the soccer players we interviewed in our story, Tren Extreme, does have a number on the bottle, but when you call it, you get the FDA hotline to report adverse side effects. Harry. So just let me get this straight. So these guys go in, they think they're buying a nutritional supplement, and instead, what is actually in there, according to the doctor in the story, is actually an anabolic steroid. Is a designer anabolic steroid, yes. Oh. Nowhere on the bottle does it say steroid. They Man. usually say muscle activator or something like that. All right. Well, buyer beware, to be sure. Thanks right. so much. Right. All right, Kelly.